Well now, what can I do for you? Bit of venom for the belly, perhaps? Or maybe a tanker or two to shave the edge off your day. You mean old Duncan? Oh, well now, if you're looking to collect on some debt, I'll tell you that he's a drunk, and he hasn't got two coppers to his name. Hey, maybe you need to calm down, friend. Coming in here barking like an old dog isn't gonna make any doors open for you. Digging, eh? So the time's come, has it? Trouble's chasing on your heels, and you barely know why. Suppose Dagan told you less than half of what you need to know, then sent you packing. Don't take it hard. Done it to me twice in my life. All for good reason. I can probably guess why you're here, but why don't you go ahead and tell me anyway? Oh, did he? Nothing more than I did years ago. Plain silver near as we could tell. You and those shards were all that were left of that West Harbor battle. Duncan, I thought you said that shard was magic, didn't you? Trace of an enchantment on it is what that eel sand said, but nothing of importance. Probably residue from demon's fire or maybe wizard magic. Demon's fire? Sounds important to me. And that, Sal, is why you are cleaning tables and I own this place. Those shards were magic, yes, a trace. But again, it was sand, and he's a fool. Anyway, barely worth mentioning. More sentimental value than anything else. That really why you came all this way? To hear about your mother? You brought it here? Dug it up from those ruins? Now why in the nine hells would you go digging up the past like that? Look, and listen. There's no good in picking up history's bones, especially where that warlock's concerned. I heard the tales, and Dagan told me what happened at West Harbor that night. Here. I've always kept it close for some reason. Didn't want to leave it out of my sight. Seemed unremarkable. But I find that sometimes time will tell. Had Sand examined it a long time ago, but he turned up nothing. Well, it's worth a shot. But don't pay him any coin in advance, that's all I'll say. In fact, that viper would be best off. Ah, it seems I've arrived just in time to deflect the usual barrage of slander from the local innkeeper. Sand. Yes, it is good to see you're still sober enough to recognize me, Duncan. Pass the stale beer, vinegar, faint sweat, failed aspirations, unwashed tunic. I thought perhaps you had already had one tankard too many for the day, but... Why, your guest here has the smell of a harbinger about them. Faint, but there. I thought Duncan was keeping company too good for him. Now I see I was right. Duncan, you could learn a few things from your guest. Hmm, still passing off those two copper fair with the charms to the local sand? You have no appreciation for my talents and after all I've done for you. To think you could survive a fortnight without my ale purgative. Why, you would be buried in the tombs with the rest of the Neverwinter traitors. A betrayer of barkeepers everywhere. But enough about you and your adventurous exploits on the tavern floor. I heard my name mentioned, and oddly enough, almost in a tone that suggested I could help. This is kin. I'm not really seeing the family resemblance. We need your help concerning the shard. Both of them. Shard? That chunk of silver you showed me so long ago? Hmm, I do hope you're not going to try to pawn it to me again. I am no longer interested. Besides, as I recall, you said the piece of junk had sentimental value, which upon viewing your establishment is perfectly understandable. Besides, didn't your uncle or cousin or brother or whatever make off with the other shard? I thought you only had one now. It found its way back, so to speak. We need you to look at both of them again. Properly this time. Oh, very well. Give them here and let me see what my keen arcane senses can determine. Well, it seems to have some resentment to being scried. That is quite different than last time. Are you sure these are the same shards? The power in them. 
Why, it's definitely stronger than last time. Much stronger. Oh, so now they're magical. I'm not paying you for two failed divinations, you charlatan. It's not a matter of divination, you one tankard drunk. There is something about these shards. Without knowing their history, even my considerable talents cannot unlock their mysteries. You're right. Sorry I pointed out the fact you were a charlatan, Sand. And I didn't mean to bring up your excessive drinking, Duncan, and your long list of failed aspirations. It was uncalled for, especially when the mystery of these shards is before us. Taking them to any other wizard in town would be useless until we learn more about their past. You need a sage, and you need them examined quickly, so... You could try and speak to Aldenon, but I don't think you'd have much luck reaching him. The Black Lake District is closed down. Aldenon lives in the Black Lake District, you see, and now he's trapped there. The watch has it locked tight. No one going in or out, no messages in or out, even for the nobles that used to live there. Quite cryptic, really. I heard about that. Lord Dalrin was killed, wasn't he? I've heard rumors, but no official word of what happened. As have I. Not only are the Watch not talking about it, but they even called in the Cloak Tower mages to investigate, which means sorcery or demons were at work. Demons? Closest I've ever come to demons is Dagon's tales about the battles down south near West Harbor, when there was that trouble with the King of Shadows. Some sorcerer, I believe, had a number of demons and shadows at his beck and call. Not many tales left about that period of Neverwinter history, oddly enough. But you say this Aldenon might know more, Sand? <sighs> well, if you're not a member of the Watch, or know a secret route into Black Lake, then you're out of luck. So it seems like you have no choice but to let me examine the shards at my leisure. I'll need to hold on to them, of course. Wait. Watch or secret route. Not bad ideas. Either way, the coin lands. Oh, there's Marshal Cormac. He's currently at the city watch post, and I know he's in bad need of an extra sword arm down at the docks. He might be able to take you into the watch, and from there, speaking to Aldenon shouldn't be too hard. then you need to find another route into the Black Lake District. And that means dealing with other folks that try to control the docks. Moya and her gang. Oh, there's an idea, Duncan. They probably were behind the watch closing the Black Lake District in the first place. Well, she's got thugs all over the docks. But finding one who can get you to her? There's Caleb. He used to try to get me to pay him gold for protection before I told him about the wards I'd inscribed on the building that caged the Guardian Elementals. Long story, but quick resolution. Caleb, maybe. But I don't trust that harbor rat to give you a fair deal. And the price will be steep, in bodies or coin. He doesn't like being the only one with blood on his hands. <laughs> doesn't sound like someone we should put our faith in. Obviously, you've never dealt with the Watch in Neverwinter, Kelgar. Dealing with Caleb is probably our best chance. Still, the chances are simply talking to Caleb will make you want to kill him, so it seems a clear win to me. If you do speak to him, though, be sure to do it downwind. Well, as long as I get a chance to take their purse first. Besides, joining the Watch? Ugh. If we have to, we have to, but I don't have to like it. I'd prefer being part of a stand-up fight than one from the shadows. So, where's this Caleb you mentioned? Caleb should be lounging around the corner east along the main road. Just follow the smell. If you want to join with him, he'll probably ask you to hurt or kill someone, so be warned. I'll mark both on your map. Help you get your bearings. Well, you can certainly find your way into trouble from here. Me, I will head back to my lonely merchant existence. Should you need my expertise, simply ask. 
but just in case, bring a great deal of gold as well. Well, there you have it. Talk to Caleb or Cormac. Cormac is at the watch post near the Dolphin Bridge. Caleb should be lounging down the street east along the main road. But while you're here, feel free to make yourself at home. Also, any friend of yours is a friend of mine. Your companions are welcome to stay here as well. Even if you're off on some other journey like the one that sent you here. They're all welcome to make themselves at home whenever they're not traveling with you. That way you'll know where to find them if you need their help later. <laughs> Sound good? 